Hello everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Thanks for joining us here on YouTube. Be sure to check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com for plenty more Royal Caribbean news. Happy Monday. Every Monday I am here with you answering your Royal Caribbean cruise questions. Lots to talk about. Happy New Year and happy Icon of the Seas month, day, week, year, decade. We're here to talk about, of course, everything happening in the world of Royal Caribbean, including Icon of the Seas. A lot more on that in a bit, but I want to start off today with the most important question. Like, we're going to get a ton of questions, but there's only one that's the most important, and that is how many days until your next Royal Caribbean cruise? Grab your countdown in chat. Let's count down together. Um, got lots of friends in the chat already. Love you guys. Amazing support already. We had some super chats before the broadcast began. Joseph D., thank you for the super chat. Hi, Matt. We'll be sailing on Anthem of the Seas for the first time in April, wondering if there's any advantage to book our next cruise while on the ship. And Joseph, there is. Yeah, if you book your cruise on the ship, you'll get um, extra onboard credit and reduced deposit. But, Joseph, if you're sitting here in January and your cruise is in April, don't wait. The problem with waiting till April to book your cruise is, yeah, you'll get extra onboard credit, but the price could and probably will go up between now and then that will negate the advantages of that onboard credit. So don't do that. What you want to do, if, you, if there is a cruise that you want to book, book it now. But Joseph, if you get on Anthem of the Seas, and then you say, you know what? This is great. I'd love to do another one. And, uh, and, and spontaneously, you decide, let's book a cruise. Then that's a fantastic idea. But don't wait to book it, is my advice to you. Brian Kelly, thank you for the super chat. 19 days till Icon of the Seas. Cannot wait. I am with you, my friend. Very excited for that. 306 girl, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Matt, love your videos. My family and I are going on Oasis in March. I have six questions. Six, guys, for, for wow, six. Any non-COVID vaccinations needed? No. Um, are there any size and weight limits of carry-on bags? No, whatever can fit in a, in a security x-ray machine. Is there any minimum age on the comedy show? Um, sometimes it says 18 plus, depends on the show. You'll see it when it's listed there. Uh, we have traditional dining. If we decide we don't go to the main dining room, do we have to let someone know? No, you don't have to. You can, but you don't have to. How many cruises between had you been on when you started Real Green Blog? Oh, man. Not that many. Um, I don't know the exact number. It's a great question. I have to look it up. Why you pronounce it Windjammer and Windjammer? It's a, it's a, it's a dumb, uh, I don't know, dumb, but it's an inside joke. My sister thought that's how it was legit pronounced, and I've continued on that tradition. Thank you for the super chats. Uh, let's see here. A lot of countdowns here. 11 days, seven. Jen Green from MEI Travel. 14 days till Icon. 17 until Liberty. Nice. Hey, Grace, thank you for the super chat. Oasis of the season. Six days. First cruise ever. Thanks for all the info and content. You are very welcome, Grace. Man, Oasis, great ship. We have a wonderful time on board. Kim Oakland, hello. 144 till Alaska. Tony is here. Welcome. Uh, Steve, what is the which ship has the most rustic nautical schooner bar? Oh, um, the Radiance class for sure. Um, the uh, like Brilliance of the Seas, Radiance of the Seas, Serenade of the Seas. That is really really nice. They do a great job with that. Um, it it's got a lot of nautical motifs. The worst ones, Steve, are any of the new ships, Oasis class, Quantum class. You wouldn't even know they're nautical themed, quite frankly. Megan Hayes from MEI Travel. I sing some Dave Matthews here, but she doesn't want to hear it. Uh, Megan, thank you for joining us here. Welcome. Uh, we've got Amanda um, Ebert. Herbert? I'm not sure I pronounced your last name. It's either very French or very American. But Amanda, thank you for joining us here. Uh, glad to have you joining. Don and Judy Goldstein are here. Welcome. Jennifer Kelm from MEI Travel. 15 days till I go on Icon pre-cruise. Nice. Uh, Eamon is joining in from Quantum of the Seas while in the Sweet Lounge at Mystery Island Vanuatu. For all you guys keeping score at home, go mark that one off on your map there. That is awesome. Uh, Poland Bell Aviation, considering Wonder or Wonder of the Seas or Icon. I mean, we don't we haven't been on Icon yet, so I can't give you like a definitive answer. But the answer to your question is, and I think Jen Green would agree with me on this one. You do you book both. You book both, and you decide for yourself. Linden, how was your cruise? It was fantastic. We had a nice time. We had fabulous weather all the way. The seas were like glass. There was no movement at all. That was fantastic. And then it was hot in, in um, Cozumel. And it was, well, my wife thought it was cold in, in Coco Key. I thought it was pleasant, but to each their own. 
Uh, let's see here. Um, David Sand, a few months ago, I asked about the rumored Discovery class. Now, what is your thought? Uh, we posted an update, David. I don't know if you saw that earlier this week or this weekend. Uh, the other day, a couple days ago, um, with an update. I mean, I think it's something resembling that is going to happen. I don't know what it will be, but um, clearly there is another class of ships in the works. But David, I would simply say that it's anyone's guess and emphasis on guess as to how big, small the ship is and anything else to that nature. Um, but yeah. Jay, love your channel. Thank you. Uh, how do you use your cell phone wallet at different ports? I have Metro PCS and don't think they work in the Caribbean islands. Isn't, first of all, how do you have Metro PCS? Isn't that like, didn't they roll that into T-Mobile? Check with your carrier. Um, the answer to your question, Jay, is more about your carrier. Um, and if your cell phone plan uh, is covered in one of those places, depending on your plan, it may be. As an example, I have Cricket Wireless, which is AT&T. And um, when I'm in Mexico or Canada, it works normally. Like there's nothing special to do. Otherwise, you might, you might incur, Jay, some seriously hefty tra um, roaming fees. James Ferrer, thank you for the super chat. Three days till Indy, can internet be purchased for only one single day use or must I buy the package? Um, you can purchase one single day when you're on the ship. The daily rate will be more. It's like $29.99 for 24 hours, but you could do that and you have to wait to get on board the ship in order to do that. Uh, let me uh, get catch up here. Nick Wong. Nick, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Happy New Year. 20 days till Odyssey. Is Giovanni's wine bar including all the dining package? Thank you to your, you and your team for all the hard work. That's a great question. Um, it's been a while since I've been on a ship that had the wine bar. That would be wonder. I seem to recall paying cash for it. Am I crazy? I'm going to say no. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the answer is no to that one. Uh, maybe somebody else remembers that. Uh, score, Jason. I have two Royal Green Cruises booked. Am I crazy? Yeah. Like, that's not nearly enough, dude. You need to add, like, a zero to that number and then come back and talk to me. Uh, let's see here. Eli Bank. Eli, uh, Eli Blank. Thank you for the super chat. I don't see a message from you, Eli, but I'll keep an eye out for a question from you or Eli Bank, for that matter. Chris Bergeloff. Chris, thank you for the super chat. St. Thomas excursion sold out. How easy feasible is the six and a half hours we're there to visit Megan's Bay and Mountain Top on Aaron? Pretty easy. Very easy. In fact, Chris, I'm sure if you Googled St. Thomas uh, shore excursions, you're going to find a tour like that already um, that you can book. Um, there's a number of companies that offer it, so it would be very easy. My advice is to work with one of those companies. That way you know exactly how much time there is. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Danielle used MEI travel for my next cruise was able to get a balcony room for $12 from an interior. I think like $12 more. Well, that's awesome. They gave you a good deal. I love that. And if it's $12 in total, uh, I need to book that room as well. Uh, right, right. What are your thoughts on real green ending their partnership with Ben and Jerry's? Mm, eh. Like I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just, I'm pretty indifferent. We rarely ever bought the ice cream because I'm like a lot of people. I thought the ice cream that was for free was fine. Once in a while we'd stop by because I wanted a particular flavor that they didn't have on board. I love coffee ice cream, guys. I'm a sucker for coffee ice cream. Um, so we'll go there for that. Um, maybe reward the kids, something like that. But it sounds like, and it looks like Sugar Beach is going to be more or less the same. So maybe they don't have, you know, Cherry Garcia or fish food, but I can live with that because I don't care about those things. So very much indifferent one way or another. Uh, Rene Romero, thank you for the super chat. Rene wants to know best hotel to stay at in Fort Lauderdale. My favorite is the Marriott. Um, uh, I love it so much. I can't remember the name. The Marriott Fort Lauderdale Airport. Uh, I've stayed there. It's 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 on like Compass Way, I believe is the name of the road. The Marriott Fort Lauderdale Airport. I love it. I've stayed there every single time I go to Fort Lauderdale. Rene, it's really really good. Pretty much brand new. I like that quite a bit. Ah, okay, so it's Cajun French, a, a bear. It's not like like the there's a there was a famous uh, goalie in hockey in the '90s. His name was Guy Bear, but it is not the French. It is uh, it is the Canadian French, and they are a little different than this. Andrew Brennan with an amazing super chat. Woo! Holy moly, dude! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hoping to get another uh, Royal Caribbean cruise next year. 
Hope to meet you on a roller coming cruise someday. Likewise. Uh, number, because of question number one, what are you looking forward to on Icon of the Seas? All the food, dude. I love food. I love eating on a cruise. And the fact that there's going to be so many new venues on there, super excited for that. What is your favorite? I think you said IOTS bar. I assume you mean Icon. You know, that's, you're going to have to ask me that question again um, in a couple of weeks because I, I, it's hard to have a favorite bar if you haven't experienced, especially some of the newer things that are over there. So I'm excited for it, dude. Um, but I'm excited to try some new things. Maybe it'll be the Trellis Bar. You know why? Because they've always had a Trellis Bar. That's not a new concept. But what is new about Trellis is there's going to be food there. Maybe I'll love that quite a bit. So, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, Schooner Bar has a piano player. That is correct. Matt Rerick, thank you for the super chat, buddy. 19 days, only 17 days till out of the snowy and cold Pittsburgh. Matt, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Appreciate you. And that is an awesome cat. When that countdown gets like less than three weeks, it's it's it gets real, you know? It gets real right there. Uh Chris Stell, thank you for the super chat. Here's starting 2024, 21 days, Linda Pens of the Seas. Cheers, my friend. I'm I'm sorry, I think you're not supposed to like cheers water, but here I am. Uh Stephen James, what's your thoughts on a New Year's Eve cruise? Is it good for families? Sure, it can be. I mean, New Year's Eve cruise. By and large, you're going there for the big New Year's Eve party celebration, everything that comes with it. So, um, and there's many ways to celebrate New Year's Eve, obviously, but um, I think it's a great idea. Sure. Um, if you're looking for a very quiet evening, I'm not sure why you'd book that cruise. But if you're looking for some fun, that's a great sale when you go on. And, and kids, absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Next question. Uh, Terry, yo, Matt, glad to have you, glad you had a blast on Mariner, one of my faves, great, great to have you back, brother, thank you, Terry, always appreciate you, and I think, happy belated birthday, Terry, am I right on that? Mystery Shadow, checking in from Vision of the Seas, welcome. Laura, why is Rover on the dog to live permanently on the icon, what is his job? He, he's the family dog, you know, it's, uh, basically, from what we can tell, it's just this shtick they've got for it. Um, to make it a little different. You know, it's obviously, a, remember, this is a family cruise ship aimed at families, and families have dogs. Now, you can't bring your dog, but there is a dog on there, and then I mean, that's nice. And it's a golden retriever. He's so cute. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. So it's it's a fun little addition there, something to distinguish the ship just a little bit more. Uh, Next question. Audrey, thank you for the super chat. Nassau Beach recommendations, please. Not excursions and safe, simple transportation to get there. Feeling uncertain about the port. Hmm. The latter half is the tough one, the transportation. Um, Cable Beach or Cabbage Beach are the two beaches that are absolutely fantastic and beautiful. The problem is transportation. Here's what I would do. Number one, I would arrange that ahead of time. Um, I would Google, and I don't, I don't have a, a specific recommendation for you, Amanda. Or Amanda, where'd I get? Audrey. But what I would do is I would Google, you know, like Nassau... Drivers, maybe someone in our chat has a recommendation for a for a driver in Nassau, but somebody that's gonna you can prearrange, who is vetted, you can see reviews of, and is gonna be able to come pick you up right at the port, take you there, maybe even recommend a place and bring you back. And those people do exist. You gotta look for them, Audrey. That's what I would. Do. Unfortunately, I don't have a recommendation. The only thing I would say, one more thing about this: um, you don't want an excursion, but you could also get a day pass to a resort, which includes beach access, which is great. And Audrey, I recommend using resortforaday.com, resort for a day. They, they don't include transportation. You can just hop in a cab, uh, but yeah. All right, Teresa says, Giovanni's Wine Bar not included in Ultimate Dining. Thank you. That's what I thought about that. What is your least favorite specialty restaurant on Royal Caribbean? Hooked because I don't eat shellfish. Wonderland because I think it's like, the shtick kind of gets old for me, but I've done it a couple times. Hello, Amanda from Voyager of the Seas. Welcome. Uh, Eli, thank you for the super chat earlier. Uh, 20 days to Harmony and two minutes to cover freedom. Recommended things to do in the Georgetown Grand Cayman. Seven mile beach. Uh, there's, it's, there's, it's a long strip of sand. There's a lot of different beaches. Here's what I would do, Eli. When you get off the tender in Grand Cayman, go to the taxi and say, I want to go to Seven Mile Beach. And you're, you're telling your taxi driver this. I want to go to Seven Mile Beach, and I want to go to a beach that has, and you let them know. 
Some people just wanna like, I just want a place to go, put my towel down and that's all I need. Other people want umbrellas, chairs, food service or food options. Anyway, the taxi driver can bring you to, to one. I used to have one I recommended years ago. I believe it closed down a while ago anyway, but there's a number of them that you can go to on that beach. Andy Hall, thank you for the super chat. Which ships have the iFly attraction? The Quantum class ships. Quantum, Anthem, Ovation, Spectrum, Odyssey, Ovation. Did I say Ovation? Yeah, the, um, the Quantum class ships. Uh, Amanda says, uh, coffee ice cream is the best. This is why we are friends. We've never met, but we are friends on that one. Absolutely. Uh, next question. Did you hear about Icon of the Seas having a dog? Yes, because I wrote an article about it at realgrimmingblog.com. Uh, Yoink, thank you for, actually, Elizabeth wrote it, but you know what I mean. Yoink, thank you for the super chat. Uh, your favorite, Nassau Kogi versus Bermuda. I mean, they're good for different reasons. I've I've only been to Bermuda a couple times. I pick Coco Key, but Bermuda over Nassau. Everyone look at it that way. Uh, Ronnie Bickers Jr. Ronnie, thank you for the super chat. Uh, for using a cell phone in port, if your phone has access to Wi-Fi calling, you can use any number of free Wi-Fi hotspots available at almost every port, right? Yes, but you need the Wi-Fi hotspot. The issue is not, you're correct. But obviously, you still need an internet connection. So you're right, Ronnie. If you found a bar or a restaurant or a store that had free Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi that you could have access to, then yes. Then at that point, you connect to the Wi-Fi, and your Wi-Fi calling would work. That is correct. Jessica Kincaid. Thank you for the super chat, Jessica. I don't see him. Oh, I found it. Matt, thanks so much for everything you do. Are you driving down to Miami Wednesday morning for the Icon Welcome Party? I'm driving down tomorrow. Or I'm taking the train. But yes, I will be there. Is anyone else going? To the Icon Welcome Party? I will be there uh, at 7 a.m. Listen, if anybody can, like, bring me some, like, coffee in the morning, that'd be fantastic. Anyway, I will be there 100%. Bell's on. I half opened. Woo! But I'll be there, buddy. Uh, Ma'am. Yes, I will be there. Um, and, if, and if you are going to be there, Jessica or anybody, please, I hope, please say hello because I don't know anyone over there. Stephen Burnett. Burnett, thank you for the super chat. Is Zoomy lunch booked? Should second choice be 150, Chopped or Giovanni's? Uh, 150. And thoughts on Wonderland? I'm not a big fan. If you've never done it before, go for it. It's cool. It's fun. But as a repeat, not my favorite. Masato, thank you for the super chat. Uh, good to see you. Celebrity Cruise has Royal Green perks. Um, if you match your status, they do, Masato. So, like, off the bat, no. But what you basically need to do is you need to match your Crown and Anchor status to the equivalent um, status in Cap... Celebrity Cruises Captain's Club. You do that before the cruise. And uh, then they give you some benefits. Not the same benefits. They're just like equip somewhat equivalent status. And the benefits are different in Celebrity. In my opinion, they're not nearly as good. But it's something. So there you go. Mike Pastore in the house. Hello, Mike. Hope all is well with you. Uh, let's see here. Kayla. My question is, my husband's checking times at noon and mine is at one. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Just, just go with him, Kayla. Then... Don't even mention your one o'clock. She'd be like, look, noon, my husband, see him? Married. Got a finger, got a ring. I got a finger and a ring on the finger. We're married. They, they won't care at all. You'll be totally fine. J Z S Z. J, did I say that right? Yeah. J Z S Z. Thank you for the super chat. Can you go to Izumi more than once per day with specialty dining? Um, it depends. Um, if you're going to Izumi sushi, no, that's one per day because it's a la carte. But if you wanted to do hibachi, I believe that would be yes, but you'd have to pay the, the supplement every single time. Um, so you're talking about the sushi, so it's one per day um, because it's an a la carte restaurant. Uh, Kat DeRose, thank you for the super chat, Kat. I don't know if I see a message from you here, Kat. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Looking for a message in a, I don't know where it is, but thank you for your super chat. Uh, S'more Fred. Do you know when we will know our state room and muster for our February 9th sailing on Wonder of the Seas? Uh, I assume you booked guarantee. No, but somewhere between now and February 9th, probably. It's, I'm not being like facetious or silly. That really is the answer. Victoria, thank you for the super chat. Victoria doesn't have a message, but maybe she does. I'll keep an eye out for it. Thank you, Victoria, for your generosity. Um, Mento Jane, thank you for the super chat. 
84 days till Celebrity Equinox. Do you know if refrigerators in the Alka class roommates are refrigerators or they're coolers? I stayed in this room. I don't know if they are one or the other. I always assume they're the cooler and not a true fridge um, because that's how it is on Royal Caribbean. But I don't know for a definitive answer, even though I did stay in that exact room. But I would assume that I would not put anything in there to last more than about a couple hours, you know, maybe overnight kind of thing right there. Catherine Johnson says, our stay room says GTY and also balcony when scrolling down the app. Does that mean we'll get an ocean view or we need to upcharge via the app? I remember, recall choosing ocean view. It's a hard question to answer because I, I would have to see more information. There are There is such a thing as a neighborhood guarantee versus an ocean view guarantee. But it means that you booked a guarantee. Um, I think what you're asking, am I going to get an ocean view or like Central Park? That I don't know. That would also depend on the cat on the exact category class you booked. So it's hard to definitively answer that question. I don't want to mislead you. So I'm going to simply say, I don't know, Catherine, but um, it would depend on what you booked. Former genius, thank you for the super chat. Seven days till our very first cruise on Indy. Thanks for all your help. You've been essential in all my over planning. Very nice. I love that. Fantastic. Uh, Megan, if I found something else we can agree on after the D Dave Matthews fiasco hooked to my least favorite special restaurant as well. There you go. Fantastic. But you're still wrong about Dave Matthews. Aaron Ross, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Matt. Which piece do you say you like the St. John? And is it doable from Charlotte Mollier in the term of time? Doing a live stream from Crown's Edge? <laughs> uh, no to the Crown's Edge, unless somebody, like, forces me on there. Um, the, uh, Cinnamon Bay is my favorite. Cinnamon Beach is my favorite. It's a lot less crowded than Trunk Bay. Trunk Bay is absolutely beautiful. Everyone went there. Um, when I went there the uh, in November, we went to Trunk, Beat, Trunk Bay. But before that, I, I went to, uh, I've been to Cinnamon Beach and um, Honeymoon Beach. I think Trunk Bay is just massive and has more facilities over there. But Cinnamon Beach was far less crowded. And I would do Cinnamon Beach if I could. But it's just easier. To, everybody goes to Trunk Bay, so don't feel like it's Big problem. It's not that busy there. It is, after all, St. John. Uh, let's see here. Veronica, how soon before do you recommend going to Stand Up Line for a comedy show? 20 to 30 minutes at the most. Uh, Jay Z SC, again, thank you for the super chat. What's the best way to see Blue Iguanas at Grand Cayman? Um, I would recommend looking for a good tour as opposed to like winging it. So, like, Earlier, we talked about Seven Mile Beach, and I would say, get in a taxi, bring me to this beach that has whatever I'm looking for. For that, what you're looking for, I would recommend booking a tour. I don't have a specific provider. Uh, maybe someone in our chat has a, uh, a a tour provider in Grand Cayman they can recommend, but I would Google, you know, short Grand Cayman Shore Excursion Blue Iguanas and see what you find. And obviously, if you find that, Jay-Z, before you book it, uh, make sure you look up reviews and things like that to make sure that they're, you know, um, they're all good right there. Hey, Lindy B Boulard from MEI Travel. Hello, Lindy. Welcome. Excited to have you here. Tommy, checking in from on board. The Wonder of the Seas. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Uh, thanks, Tony. I always appreciate you having my back there, buddy. Can't imagine why I constantly pressure you to book cruises you don't want to book. Jill, thank you for the super chat. 86 days to ovation. Any tips for surviving a long haul flight? I'm flying from Orlando to Sydney. Book first class. <laughs> Is it too late for that? When I flew to Europe, I booked first class. And let me tell you something. Yeah, it's, it's cost way more, but it was it was very nice. Um, I would say, you know, be as comfortable, bring comfortable clothing, bring entertainment with you. There's probably going to be entertainment on the on, on the airplane, you know, the Screens there, you never know. Maybe it's stuff you don't like. Bring your own entertainment. Um, don't pressure yourself to sleep. Let it happen naturally. But bring an eye mask. That's really important. Um, if you're sit if you're sitting in, not in first class, you don't have like a light, lay flat seat. I would say eye mask and um, uh, one of those things there that helps you with your neck, so you can like put your head down. That's like the two biggest best purchases beyond that. Um, but otherwise, if it's not too late, I'm serious, Jill. Yeah, like business class would be really nice. If they got business at first, business is fine, but it really makes a difference. If you can get a live flat seat, oh my goodness, such a huge difference right there. You might actually look forward to the flight. 
Uh, let's see here. We got a lot of super chats. Holy smokes, guys. You guys are amazing. Ronnie Bickers. Ronnie, thank you for the super chat. Do any of the classes of ships in Royal Caribbean have a real refrigerator? No, they're all coolers. Unless you ask for a medical fridge because you need it for that reason, then obviously you need to have a medical fridge for that purpose. Uh, next question. Kim Oakland, are you able to use your Crown Anchor discounts when booking Wi-Fi and drink packages ahead of your time? No, only on board. Only on board. Uh, Dave O, thank you for the super chat. But, or, thank you for the attempt at a super chat. Uh, but it's all good, Dave. Good to see you here. Hope you're having a great time on your cruise. The Teresa McChain. Thank you for the super chat. One of my Royal Up to Infinite Ocean View balcony will tell you if you love it or hate it. I got to tell you, um, I did not like my Infinite Balcony on Infinite Veranda on Celebrity. I hope it's different on Royal. But looking forward to uh, to, uh, to doing that. Sean says I missed a super chat. Uh, Sean, I think you are mistaken, sir. Because I don't see a super chat from you. One has to give a super chat to get a super chat. <laughs> I've seriously just looked back again. Uh, Sean Dubitz. So, um, just saying. No pressure. You don't have to do one. Just pointing it out. Uh, Liam, do you think Royal will do a live stream for the ceremony? Do you mean like the naming ceremony? Yeah, I can see that. I would say there's a better than average chance of that happening. Sure. Clara, thank you for the super chat. Any tips for Icon of the Seas when traveling within toddlers? Uh, I haven't been on the ship yet. I can't give any tips. I would say just in general, if you're traveling with those kind of kids, like you probably say, all right, seven night cruise. Uh, I need, you know, this many wipes, this many diapers, this much formula. Okay, that's like, that answer is correct on land, but at sea, it's different. Bring like double the amount of toddler supplies you think you need, including outfits. They, you just seem to go through a lot more on, on a cruise ship than you do at home. DK, what perks do you get when booking a junior student in Royal Caribbean? Obviously a bigger room. You get um, double crown and anchor society points, so two instead of one. You get um, an, a, a bathtub instead of just a stand-up shower. You get upgraded toiletries. If you're on an Oasis or Quantum class ship, you get access to Coastal Kitchen for dinner only. Um, priority embarkation, not debarkation, but embarkation. Um, and a closet. Basically an extra large balcony room primarily uh next question for halloween cruise is there trick-or-treating if your cruise actually goes over halloween yes it does bj fox best lunch for boarding day on liberty other than the windjammer you don't have many choices i mean it's like uh chops Cafe Promenade or Sorrento's? So I guess Chops by default almost. Uh, let's see here. Best thing to do in St. Croix. Um, there's a place called Sandcastle Beach Resort. They sell day passes. That's where I would go if I were you. Uh, a very nice, a very pleasant good evening to uh, Crystal. And the uh, the man child that lives with her, known as Sugar. How are you, my friend? Hope all is well with you and the family. Uh, next question is from. I don't know. I gotta get a drink of water first. Any news on Star of the Seas? No. Don't expect any news, any updates on Star until like I don't know the fall, maybe winter, like a year from now, in that kind of situation. So yeah, uh, let's see here. Jeffrey, first cruise in a row, Allure of the Seas. Do they require an original marriage certificate or can copy be used? I think you mean for like your ID. Um, I think it's gotta be the original because birth certificates need to be the original as well. So I'm gonna say the original, my friend. Uh, let's put it this way, let me put it this way. They're not gonna get turned away for having the original. You might get turned away for having the photocopy. So there you go. Uh, they, look, I'm not saying they never served Haitian food there, but they've always not served Haitian food there. So maybe that's why. I mean, I, they, there's been only one time I've ever seen Haitian food served in Labadee, and it was because I was on the inaugural of Wonder of the Seas, and Lincoln D'Souza, who's the senior vice president of, of food and beverage for Royal Caribbean, was there and procured it. That's the, that's the 
very definition of an outlier. Um, every other time that I've never seen any Haitian food, just burgers, hot dogs, chicken, what have you. Or not. So I'm not sure what you're remembering, quite frankly. Uh, Austin, have you seen any recent videos or updates of Hideaway Beach? Can't find anything within the last month. Yeah, actually, um, today Hideaway Beach opened up for crew members on Icon of the Seas. They're doing a party in there, but it's pretty much ready. Um, so it looks awesome. Uh, we'll have, obviously we have better photos. I just saw basically crew members posting random photos. And you can kind of like, well, if that guy moves over a little bit, you can kind of see a little something there. So yeah. David P. David, thank you for your super chat. Uh, David, I don't see a message from you. By the way, Sean Dubitz, if you type super chat, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> you gotta actually click on the super chat button, my friend. Uh, David, do I have a message from you? I found it. Tipping amount at pier, initial tip, especially restaurant. A uh, dollar or two per bag at the pier is fine. Uh, for a specialty restaurant, that really depends on you. Oh, oh, Chantel did that. Never mind, not Sean. Um, I missed it. All right, we'll get to it. Sorry, sir. Sean, my apologies, my friend. I found it. We're good. Um, it, I mean, I swear. All right, we'll, we, one problem at a time. We get this and then Sean's question. Tipping on a pier, additional tip, especially restaurant. For a specialty restaurant, it depends. I mean, um, I usually do $10 a person, but that's me. You don't have to do that number. Um, it it kind of depends on this level of service you get, things of that nature. So I'd leave it up to you. Chantel, thank you for helping me out on that. I literally couldn't see it, but I believe Sean was there. I don't think he's, he's a jerk by any means. I know he's not. I see Steven. Oh, I found it. Oh, what a jerk I am. Okay. Uh, officially, 90 Days of Freedom. Has there been any recent news on Hideaway Beach? Still can't decide the premium to pay for it worth over the pool. So here's what I would say, Sean. I'll be there on the, the first time, first visit for Icon. And we'll have a full review. We'll have an article. We'll have a video. So hold off on it until then, because obviously right now it's not open. Um, crew members were able to go there for the very first time today, but it's not open to the public. So let's wait and see what it's like. And then we'll we'll report on it there. So hold if you can if you can hold a little bit longer, we'll get you some more information on that. How about that? Uh, why are sweets so expensive? Demand. I mean, honestly, Emily, it's just supply and demand. That's really what it boils down to. The number one category of cap of cabin that sells out the first, the fastest, is are always sweets. There are very few of them on the ship relative to the rest of the cabin categories, and um, that's basically what it boils down to. Um, it's just, it's just there's so much demand for it. So um, that's that's essentially what you're seeing right there. Uh, the Ochoas, can I still ask to get connecting rooms with guaranteed interior? No. When you do a guarantee, it is very much Jesus take the wheel with cabin catarist. No, you cannot. Um, it doesn't work that way. Joey, uh, we've got two, we've got Liberty in two weeks, Junior Speed and Icon September. Nice, dude. Fantastic. Uh, Lauren Lisco, thank you for the super chat. Is it better to fly to Fort Lauderdale or Miami to sail from Fort Lauderdale? Fort Lauderdale. It's the airport and the cruise port are next to each other. Super easy. Doing an A-Nighter on Odyssey in five days were the few top things to do on board. Giovanni, like one night, if you want to do like not a pay for the entire restaurant, you can get a la carte food at Giovanni's Wine Bar, which is really cool. Um... Obviously, they have North Star. I would recommend doing that. It's free on sea days. So I would do it then. Um, uh, and the C-Plex, the Playmakers there is absolutely fantastic. You're going to love it. Sean, thank you again for the Super Chat. Apologies. That's on me for missing it. Thank you to Chantel for the assist there. But I do see it now. It was, uh, let, let's just blame Tony Diaz. It's his fault. I'm not going to, yeah, I, I think that's the obvious thing. Uh, will there be any special perks given to passengers during the inaugural selling of the Icon? The official answer is we have no idea. Maybe. In in past inaugural sailings, yes, there have been, um, perks. Like, as an example, um, i go get it. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So on past cruises, like, on the Wonder of the Seas inaugural... They gave away little things, little, little knickknacks. There was hats and like, this is a uh, bottle of Coca-Cola from Wonder of the Seas, as you can see. And then one other night we got a, a, a literally a mason jar. 
and mason jar chocolate. And I think this was supposed to go into something that you made. And I never, when did this expire? This expired uh, November, 2022. So Tony Diaz, I've got a present coming to your house, my friend. I thought about you and I thought you deserve a, you deserve a treat, sir. How about a nice bar? Um, so the answer is probably there will be things there, but officially you shouldn't go into it expecting one, but in the past there have been, so who knows? Uh, will the crown's edge be included after the hype is gone? Probably not. I, I just, part of the reason why, now I'm not justifying the cost. I think the price is too high, but I do think the reason why they're charging for it, and it's actually a good idea to have a charge in general, is to help contain demand. Um, when something's free, people just book it up like immediately. Um, and it gets, it becomes very difficult to get a reservation by charging even a nominal fee. Um, you can, uh, you can help manage that a lot better, but I do think the current price is too crazy. So hopefully the price will come down. How late can you use a travel agent? Um, you have to book, if you book it on your own, you have within about 30 days to transfer it to a travel agent from when you originally booked it. Melissa Pillsbury, thank you for the super chat. Jewel in 40 days, but the weather is, we would love to spend the night in Trinidad, hopping and reboard the next day in Tobago without taking the ferry. Is that possible? If your ship is docked overnight, like yours, I don't know what your itinerary is, Melissa. But if you're spending an overnight, like your ship, you know, like in Bermuda, they do this all the time, right? Where you're, you come in at three o'clock on day one and you leave at five o'clock on day two. Yeah, you could totally do that. It, I mean, your ship is a floating hotel. Think of it like a really long shore excursion stay. That'd be fine. But obviously, Melissa, if it's not, like if your cruise ship is stopping in Trinidad and then the next day is going to Tobago, no, that doesn't work that way. Because you kind of miss the ship there. And it's also a, a um, then it becomes a, uh, it's also a Royal Caribbean problem per se, as it is an immigration issue. Because it's almost like you're an illegal alien <laughs> by doing that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Earl in the house. I'm pro zip. I'm pro. Where's my cup? I'm pro zip. I'm pro zip. Dig a the Oh, man. I missed that game. If you know that song, you're either A, from Germany, or B, you've been in Casino Royale and played the Heidi Beer House uh, game, for sure. Uh, Ronnie wants to know they've updated Coco Key. When was the last time they updated Labadee? They updated Labadee when there was a President's Cruise. Whenever Billy Ocean performed there, they did some minor upgrades to it. Originally, the plan was this is pre pandemic. The plan was Perfect Day Coco Key was the first of the Perfect Day collection, and Labadee would have eventually gotten it. I don't know when if that's still a plan, but I think it's still going to be there, so probably. Uh, let's see here. Um, cruising with Kristen. Matt, I've done the North Star twice. It's free on sea days and it's open on port days. On port days, there's a charge and it goes over the side of the ship. Correct. Very good. Um, you were supposed to make a Kentucky mule with that stuff from Wonder. But I can still send expired chocolate to Tony, right? Like, that's okay. It's still like a gift, right? You never look at a gifted horse or a gift of expired chocolate in the mouth, right? Uh, Sunshine, dream travel. Can you order takeout at Izumi on Mariner of the Seas? Yes, absolutely. Uh, why is the dining package open for Utopia of the Seas for July sailings? Um, it's a new ship. And part of the reason is probably because like we saw this with Icon. When you have a brand new ship, the offerings take a little bit longer to kind of get out there. So that could be the reason why. Uh, are there any ways to get a bottle of alcohol in your stateroom? The only way you could do it, Dayton, um, Royal Caribbean does sell small bottles of liquor you can purchase. If you go to the Royal Caribbean Gifts and Gear website, it might also be on the cruise planner. But if you Google Royal Caribbean Gifts and Gear, there's like little bottles of liquor you can buy with like, that comes with like six cans of like Coke or Sprite. You can mix with it, but it's very limited. Otherwise the answer is no, you cannot. Trust me, Earl has tried. Uh, are all Icon of the Sea sailings completely sold out for this year? No, they're not. Nope. 
Uh, Champion Summer, thank you for the super chat. What is the cheapest quantum ships? The oldest ones. Almost, almost certainly. And again, this is very much a generalization. But Quantum of the Seas and Anthem of the Seas will be the cheapest ones that are usually out there. There are exceptions to this, but generally speaking, that is the case. Does Royal Caribbean allow more than four people in a cabin? Um, it depends on the cabin. If the cabin, each cabin has a max capacity, Ash. So some cabins, yes, not all. Like as an example, there are some cabins, Ash, that only allow two people in the cabin, right? Most have, you know, maybe four. But um, for cabins of five, then uh, what you need to look for are special, like usually called family rooms or suites, but those are like family state, family, you know, uh, ocean view or something of that effect. Again, Ash, work with a good travel agent. They can help you out finding the right one for you. Also, but one more thing, Ash, let me go back to this question for a second. Um, you're looking, okay, five people in a room. It might be cheaper to get two connecting rooms instead of one room for five, believe it or not. Uh, let's see. Craig's going to play a round or two for you on, and Tony on Monday. We appreciate that, Craig. Thank you very much. Do you anticipate all icon sailings will sell out completely this year? Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe not like in advance or like super in advance, but I think, Russell, they're going to set, they're going to, those ships are going to sail full. Yes, I do believe that. Scary, thank you for the super chat. Any idea they're going to do pre booking for the entertainment on icons at Argo? Yeah, tomorrow. The word on the street. And this is from Michael Bailey, is that tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, it will open up. So the answer is absolutely yes. The the question, Rich, was like, what day? And the word on the street, uh, and this comes, I saw Michael Bailey posted this on Facebook. Somebody asked him, he po replied, Tuesday is the day they're gunning for, which would be tomorrow. Why doesn't Royal Caribbean dock overnight in Coco Key? There's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, number one reason they don't dock overnight is because, um, most people don't want to. Like, I mean, they, they just have their, most people like going to the island for the day, spending their time there, doing their stuff, and then, you know, around evening, going back to the ship, changing, going to a show and dinner on board. The Royal Caribbean has not seen enough interest to warrant that. Number two are the logistics involved. So Coco Key is, takes a lot of crew members to staff. If you wake up early when the ship first docks at the island, and you watch the pier, there are a host, I mean, it's an army of people who get off that ship. There are some people, some crew members that live on the island, but the vast majority of the people and supplies come from the ship. So in order to keep the ship, the island going, you're taking away a lot of resources from the ship, and there's that issue as well. So it's both of those. And, and let me be clear, Kat, I would love an overnight, heck, I think they, I don't think they, they need to do an overnight. They just need to do a, let's stay until like 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. kind of thing. We have an evening component to it, but yeah. Hey, Jeff, uh, with you, thank you for the super chat. With Icon Utopia Star and rumored new class, do you think Royal Caribbean is going to sell scrap any ships in the next few years? There's a lot of new inventory. You're absolutely right on the new inventory, or there's a lot of inventory. Um, I think part of the issue is what's the market right now for, used cruise ships in 2020 and 2021 there was no market you either scrapped it for for you either scrapped the ships or you literally would give it away i mean that was the only option um i do think the industry has recovered a lot since then and i think that um the market has probably recovered a little bit but i'm not sure the buying component to it is quite as um lucrative as it was before but i do think to your point if 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 the market was there, I have no doubt in my mind, Grandeur of the Seas would be gone by now. Um, it was supposed to be gone by now. So I think that's really the issue there. So I think in a, the the long the short answer is yes. The long answer is yes, but they need a buyer for it more than they need a desire to get rid of it. If that makes sense. Like cheaper to keeper, one of those kind of scenarios that that terrible phrase can can make sense right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jeffrey, any news on restaurants on Utopia? Um, yeah, we already know some, if not all the restaurants, don't we? Zumi in the park. Uh, we've got the new train, um, restaurant that's coming there. Um, so we know at least some of those that are coming to the, uh, we post about that at realcreamblog.com. In fact, Jeff, if you, um, 
we did a we did a Utopia preview video a couple months ago, and that information is still pretty much up to date. And there's not much that's been announced since then. Uh, Brian says, hearing the parking at Port Canaveral has become difficult. Now that Wonder and Allure are there, should we take a shuttle instead? Um, it's not as bad as it was. I remember when we took a cruise in December of 2022, it was a problem. They've added a number of new surface lots to Terminal 1. Um, I would say it's just going to, I mean, forget, it's just easier if you take a shuttle service. But I would say, um, let me put it this way, Brian. If I was driving to Port Canaveral, I would, I would drive myself um, and, and just park there on my own. But that, that that's me. Um, you know, I think you're going to get a spot. I've yet to see anybody be turned away. I'm not saying you will, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, next question. Can we go to Rotan in particular if you run vaccinated 12 year old? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not aware of any ports that still require vaccination. I think like Cartagena and Australia were like the last ones. Cartagena's in Colombia. Australia dropped that. I think that was the last one, quite frankly. Uh, let's see here. Debating between freedom and wonder. Freedom is a better price, obviously. What do I need to consider? How important is it for you to be on the ship with a bigger ship with more to do and newer features on board? Um, Freedom's a great ship, Peter. I would not overlook that. Uh, really, what you're paying for uh, is for the latest and greatest, wonder. And for the, uh, there's going to be more to do. There are more activities, entertainment, on and better, arguably better, higher quality, whatever you're going to look at it, entertainment on wonder compared to freedom. So it's, the answer again is to book them both. Uh, do you, do, 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 do. Uh, Austin, what are some lesser known or unique features and activities that Rokerman offers that many cruisers might be aware of? That's a great question. Um, there's one that I just did on Mariner. It was fantastic. It's called Musical Bingo. It was free. But instead of traditional bingo, we're like, you know, B10. Um, instead, you get a bingo card and it's songs or artists. And they play music and you either and they won't say who it is but you have to say oh that's that's led zeppelin and and, and that was a fun one to do you don't win anything but it was, it was a really cool activity so definitely check that out because it's a uh, it's a good one uh billy d music thank you for the super chat a first on a non-oasis class what are the biggest differences i should be aware prepare for is there karaoke there's always karaoke billy you never have to worry about that um going from odyssey to non-oasis you know they're actually a lot closer um, because they're both new ships and big ships for that matter. The biggest difference is the Royal Promenade. I think you're going to notice that very quickly. The, the, the Royal Esplanade is much narrower. And 270 effectively replaces Studio B. Um, I think you're in a studio. In fact, you're going and have a 270 and the Esplanade are probably the most noticeable differences right there. Tom Steinman, thank you for the super chat, Tom. What are things to look for in a seven-day itinerary? First cruise is four nights and want to do six to seven nights next. Um, I mean, honestly, the ports that are of interest to you is what I would recommend. So whatever kind of flies your fancy, quite frankly. Um, I would say also times when you look at the itinerary. It's very, I do this all the time. I say, like, oh, we're going to these, these places. Great. I book it. And then I look at it. Wait a minute. We have terrible times in these ports. So uh, obviously ports of call that are that are rich in uh, activities and excursions that are of interest to you. Uh, next question, Keith Bruce. Any good hotel suggestions in Orlando for my Wonder Cruise? Um, no, I mean I don't have any. I don't have any firsthand recommendations. There's so many hotels in Orlando, Keith. If I were you. I would say near the airport for two reasons. Number one, you're flying in. So you're going to be in that area of Orlando already. Number two, you're there for the night. You're not there to like go to Disney World and do all the things. So there's a number of good hotels right on Cimarron Boulevard, which is north of the airport. It's on that main street. Like if you do it right, you're going to pick a hotel that's right on Cimarron and it leads right to the airport. So it's like you're, you get off the, there's going to be a shuttle probably 
you get there. Uh, but I don't, I don't have a recommendation, Keith, for a specific one. So when you're in this situation, what I would do is I'd go to Priceline.com. I'd go to Express Deals. I'd put in four stars or higher. I'd pick the Orlando Airport area and roll the dice there because you're probably going to get a good price on that if you went that way. Tony Crawford. Tony, thank you for the super chat. What do you think is better, Mediterranean or other European cruise? I'm more, I'm torn about which to choose next up with my family. That's a tough one, dude. Um, for me, it also has to factor in time of year. Like, you can't pay me to go to the Mediterranean in July or August. It's too hot. It's like an oven over there. It's notorious for being super, super hot. Um, so, obviously, like a Northern European one would be great for that. But... We're talking about some of those beautiful areas in Europe is in the Mediterranean, right? Beautiful beaches, the Greek Isles. Um, my, if my wife was here, she would tell you, forget everything else. I mean, the Greek Greek Isles is like the bucket list, a bucket list to visit because it's so darn pretty. Um, so really, it's a matter of, I think, what time of year you're looking for. Um, also, summer is more crowded in the Met and in Europe in general. But, um, you know, what you're looking to go to, are you interested in beaches? Because if you're interested in beaches, it's the Med or bust. If you're interested in culture and history, well, they still have that a lot of that in the Med. But they also have it in Northern Europe. Um, there's pros and cons to everything in there. So the answer is to book both. Uh, Nicholas F., thank you for the super chat. Do you think the world cruise was worth its Royal Caribbean? Well, the answer, it's a good question. I don't, I don't know. I think it's too early to have any kind of judgment or verdict on that, Nick. I would say this. If they offer another one, then the answer was yes. And if not, then no, I would say. I think that's, you can say a lot of things about Royal Caribbean, but at the end of the day, if it makes them money or a lot of money, then it, then they'll do it again. Uh, Russell, is the main dining room dinner menu consistent with their scheduling for what the menu offers each night based on themes in the Caribbean and areas? To some extent, yes. Um, you're always going to have, if your cruise goes to Mexico, Mexican night is almost always the first stop there. Caribbean night, same thing. First Caribbean island visit. Uh, there's some loose connections there, but you're going to have French night on one of the nights. You're not going anywhere near France, right? So, to some extent, yes, but not as strict as you might think it would be. Uh, what do I think about Royal Caribbean announcing a new smaller ship class? Well, they haven't actually announced it yet. They've just beaten around the bush and dipping in the little like, we're not announcing it, but... So, um, but hey, listen, new ships are always interesting and cool. So I, I look forward to that, but I want to be very clear, Joe. Nothing has been announced. Just strongly hinted at. Uh, let's see. Next question is from Adam. Man, how I wish I went on an adult like go to on cruises a year. I have a feeling it would cost too much, though. I don't know how others can do it. I mean, I don't know how old you are, Adam, but I mean, really, you know, in general, as an adult, you, you're going to work hard and you're going to get a good job, I hope, and you're going to you're going to strive to get a good paying job, be able to you know afford a nice house and and do the things, but also be able to take a nice va vacation. And so I, I think that's going to uh, that's going to be a, a, a good feature for you. And I hope you get a chance to enjoy the fruit of your labors. Uh, next question. Ooh, Ainsley, thank you for the super chat. Should I book excursion in Aruba or just hop off? I'd book something. Um, I liked Ainsley, this, and you've been around long enough, I think, here to know my style. Like, if I'm going to Aruba, I would go to, like, resortforday.com, book a book one of those places there and kind of, you know, and, and, and enjoy that. Like we went to Aruba last time we did, I think the last two times, I went to resortforday.com, got a resort pass. It included the beach and the pool and all that. And we had a great time. You could certainly take, just get off the ship and go over to, um, you know, hop a, take a taxi to Palm Beach or Eagle Beach. The thing for me, Ainsley, is I want more than just a beach. I want a, a great beach, but I'm also looking for facilities like a bathroom or a restaurant or um, a drink service or chairs. And you can find those things on your own, but it's a little more like you're going to be like kind of at the mercy of what you can find or how much patience you have. So for me, I would book an excursion or at least like a resort for a day. You don't have to book necessarily a real Caribbean excursion, but I would have a plan in place. 
Uh, Christopher, if I love the content, thank you. If you have an ocean balcony and bid for a junior suite, will I get the double crown anchor points? Nope, you will not. That's true for suites as well, not just junior suites. Uh, next question. Do I think the Wi-Fi and icon will be really slow because of the mass amounts of passengers keep selling? No. Um, we've seen, listen, Slew Dog, icon is like, what, 7% bigger than, than Wonder? That's not like double. Um, so no, I don't think that'll be. I mean, obviously, satellite internet is satellite internet, but I don't think I'm not expecting that to be super slow because of that. Uh, what should I do with my family if we don't want to do an excursion? That's tough. Nassau is not a port that I would say, hey, this is a great port to get off the ship and just walk around. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, there are other ports that are like that, Cozumel, but this is not one of them. So I would say in general, I think it's a good idea to have a plan, to have a, a tour. And it doesn't have to be a Royal Caribbean excursion. It doesn't have to be a massive tour either. Maybe you do resortfriday.com. Maybe you hire a driver for the day and they drive you around and, and, and take you to some cool places, but it's not the port to walk off the ship, especially a movie as a new, as a newbie. And just simply start walking, you know, wandering the, the streets. It's just not a great spot for that. It's not what I would recommend. Maxwell Newberry, thank you for the super chat. Love your videos. Keep it up. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you guys. Can I share with you guys a secret? I don't know if it's a secret anymore, but I'm going to share with you anyway. Unless Tony says I, I shouldn't share it. If uh, And Russell, please don't spam the chat, dude. Like once. Give me a couple minutes. If you guys want to hear a secret, I'll let you know I'll let on a little secret. Is Aruba a good place to walk around? Yeah, I think most of the cool things require a taxi, but sure. That's fine. Um, okay, no one wants to hear my secret, so I'm going to leave that alone then. Uh, David P. coming in with a super chat. Thank you, David. Again. Odyssey in six days, third time on her. No effect is able to book. Did Royal cancel it? No. Um, you might not be... You probably... I'm not sure when you booked it, but it may have sold out already as an option. Not to worry, my friend. It'll be available for you on board the ship. Just get to the theater like, I don't know, 30 minutes ahead of time. So. Uh, first of all, Tony, it's a printer, not a copy machine. Second of all, no, I didn't get it safe. All right, here's my secret for all of you guys. Don't tell anybody. I'm going to be on Icon of the Seas on Thursday. That's all I can say. Mr. Adam, thank you for the super chat. I'm not joking about that. 40 days till Odyssey, family of five, uh, 12, 14, 16-year-old daughters. What's the best way to entertain them? I'm, I'm laughing because I got a 13-year-old. The answer is give them a, get them internet access and they'll sit in the cabin the whole time and just sit on their phone. Uh, I think the ship is naturally going to, I mean, there's stuff for them to do. Whether they want to do or not, that's a different issue. But there is a teen club on board, and they can meet other teens on there. So that's like number one. Number two, um, there's activities to do on there. You know, there's bumper cars, there's trivia. There's a bunch of cool things that you can do on board. Um, so you don't have to, with a ship like Odyssey, you don't have to worry about entertaining them. The question is, will they want to do any of those things? That's the issue, Mr. Adam. So, um, but I, I laugh earlier because if you were to ask my daughter, the best way to entertain her is to buy an internet package so she can keep her, her Snapchat streaks going. And, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Big guy. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. Sorry, so late. No worries. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for your generosity. As always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I fly bumper cars. Absolutely. You guys, you guys got lots of, Lots of things right there. Uh, Michael, Royal Caribbean is coming out with Sky Class Junior Suite, correct? Uh, but I heard conflicting reports that will not get free Wi-Fi for the ship. I've heard, let me put it this way, Michael. Excuse me. I'm getting choked up here. Um, if it's Sky Class, Sky Class has Wi-Fi. This, again, we will know this in about three weeks when uh, Michael Pastore gets on Icon of the Seas into his Sky Class Suite. Um, but I, I think the answer is going to be it's be included there because it's sky class. Isn't that the whole point? 
My, I don't know that for a fact, but my expectation is that it will. Uh, let's see here. Kind of share another secret because I already knew the secret already. All right, I'll tell you one more secret, Tony, but, uh, but just keep this one to yourself. Everybody else, don't listen, all right? It's just me and Tony right now. So I wasn't supposed to say anything, but the next new, the name of the next new Royal Caribbean cruise ship And that's the name of the new ship. Uh, Tyson, excursion or no excursion in Costa Maya and Roatan? Um, Costa Maya, go to Maya Chan. I love Maya Chan. Um, it's my favorite. So um, uh, Maya Chan, it's not through Royal Caribbean. You book it on your own. Google Maya Chan. Tell them I sent you. You'll be good. Roatan, definitely excursion. Uh, you you want to have both. Um, I would do... Um, um, I definitely have a tour. No, no, I don't. I don't have a specific one for you, but I would definitely do a tour because I think that that would be super important. Uh, next question. <laughs> Bleep of the seas. I wasn't supposed to say anything, but there you go. Uh, Nicholas, when does the embargo lift for the icon content on board the ship? I'm assuming I. It's a media event. I'm assuming I'm able to post it on Thursday. I don't know that for a fact, but I've not been told anything otherwise. So, possibly Thursday. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Melissa on the go. I'm checking this for my cruise in January. I'm taking my sister. Does she have to be with me when I check us both in for the cruise? No, she does not. Um, if you're in the same room, you can do the you can do the check-in for her. If you have separate rooms, you can link your reservations together now. And then when it's time to check in, you can check both cabins in at the same time. Um, in order to um, link your reservations, you need to either tell your travel agent to do it or call Royal Caribbean if you book directly. Uh, Adam GZ, thank you for the super chat, buddy. What do you think of Navigator for a 16, 11-year-old? Great ship. Some of the upgrades they added there were fantastic. I mean, listen, guys, in general, Royal Caribbean ships are great for families, and that includes teenagers. So, yeah. Uh, Matt, I was not impressed with the key. Well, I've only been saying I told you so. Stop buying the key, people. Just saying that. All right, guys, I got to run. We're already way over our time here, and Tony Diaz needs to go to bed. Past his bedtime. So with that in mind, I will let you all go. Um, hope you have... Uh, I want to say a couple things before we get going here. Number one, I want to say thank you to all our super chatters. Adam GZ, thank you. Tyson, thank you. Big Guy, thank you. Mr. Adam, thank you. David, thank you. Maxwell, thank you. Ainsley, thank you. Nicholas, thank you. Tony, thank you. Tony Crawford. Uh, thank you. Tom Stinman, thank you. Billy D, thank you. Brian Dunn, thank you. Jeff Rent, thank you. Scary, thank you. Champion Summer, thank you. Melissa Pillsbury, thank you. Sean Dubitz, thank you. Lauren Lisko, thank you. David P, thank you. Clara Aguilar, thank you. The Teresa McShane, thank you. Ronnie Bickers, thank you. Jill, thank you. JZSC, thank you. Aaron Ross, thank you. Former Genius, thank you. Mento Jane, thank you. Victoria McLean, thank you. Kat DeRose, thank you. Jay-Z, thank you again. Masato, thank you. Stephen Burnett, thank you. Sean Dubitz, I see your super chat again. Thank you again. Apologies for earlier. Jessica Kincaid, thank you. Ronnie, thank you. Yoink, thank you. Andy Hall, thank you. Aunt Audrey Bauer, thank you. Christelle, thank you. Matt Rierick, thank you. Andrew Brennan, thank you so much. Renee Romero, thank you. Chris Bergeloff, thank you. Eli Blank, thank you. Nick Wong, thank you. James Fair, thank you. Grace, thank you. 306 Girl, thank you. Brian Kelly, thank you. And Joe D, thank you. And we got a last minute super chat, guys. Coming in from Dave E. Dave, thank you, my friend. 43 Days of Harmony. Thanks for all you do. Thank you for being here. Um, so our next live broadcast will be on Monday. Unless. Actually, there's, no, that's not true. We will definitely. Well, I'm probably doing a live stream on Thursday. While at 7 a.m. Eastern. So, Tony, wake up. Um, when Icon of the Seas comes in, I'll be at the park over there in Miami. So I'll do a live stream for that. And then internet and permissions permitting, um, hopefully a live stream on board the ship, but we'll, we'll get there when we get there. We'll have to see on that one. So guys, have a great week, everyone. Stay safe out there, do something fun. We'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. Bye, everybody.